Ravens flock, the vibes are back to being high. We're coming off of a much needed win against the Los Angeles Chargers in prime time on Monday Night Football. Final score 30 to 23. We came out victorious in the Harbaugh Bowl. John Harbaugh is now 3 0 against his brother. Uh, this game went as well as you could have possibly hoped it would have gone. Uh, as far as uh, offense is concerned, uh, Lamar balled out. He finished the game with uh, three passing, well, three total touchdowns, two passing, and one rushing. His dominance on Monday Night Football continues. On Monday Night Football, Lamar has about roughly 22 or 23 touchdowns, no interceptions. Right now, Lamar Jackson is actually leading the league in passing yards, which is just, again, so nice to see because for many years when we kept having to explain to people how dominant Lamar is, the main thing people kept trying to do is only bring up passing yards to try to discredit him. But it's, it's so funny that now that he's dominating in every single passing statistic, these same people don't want to talk about numbers anymore now they just want you to just give it they want to they want they want so desperately to give somebody like josh allen the mvp without bringing up numbers anymore but that that's that's neither here nor there at the end of the day lamar still had a great game here he recreated his iconic uh video from high school where he did the um the juke on somebody with the step back right before he walked into the end zone he recreated that moment. He made a couple of big plays like the that 40-yard bomb to Bateman. Uh, shout out to Bateman for making an amazing catch. That might be the best catch Bateman has made in his career. Like to fight through the pass interference and have the concentration to be able to track and still uh, catch that ball in that scenario. I, it was very impressive. It was very nice to see. Zay Flowers made several key plays in this game like the sideline catch in the third quarter. Then also towards the end of the second quarter, that catch and run for 22 yards that set up the 40-yard Bateman touchdown. Uh, Mark Andrews had a couple of big plays, including a touchdown, which I don't know what the referee was seeing when the referee tried to say it wasn't a touchdown. But either way, they still ended up having to reverse that and call it a touchdown because that's what it was. This was Lamar's 17th game with at least one passing and one rushing touchdown in the same game. Now, this is by far the most in franchise history. All of our other quarterbacks combined have only done this 16 times. Lamar's already done it 17. So this is another scenario of Lamar adding to his resume again. This is also, and I haven't seen many people talk about this, but this is also the 19th straight game where Lamar has had at least one passing touchdown, which is another franchise record right now. I'm assuming he's going to continue this for the rest of the year, but as of right now, he has 19 straight games with at least one passing touchdown, which is a Ravens franchise record. Just a lot of stuff went, went well in this game, and I haven't even talked about the running attack in this game. We dominated running the ball in this game. Like, we ran for like 200 yards in this game, man. Derrick Henry went crazy. Justice Hill went crazy. Mind you, uh, this Chargers team has one of the best defenses in the NFL and one of the best run defenses in the NFL, and it just didn't matter, you know. Uh, Derrick Henry was focused. He was locked in. He was dragging people 5, 10 yards down the field. He was stiff-arming two people back-to-back -back on the same play. Justice Hill broke out the longest run of his career, which I was very happy to see because not only is Justice Hill so easy to root for, but also because of the fact that now this makes our offense a little less predictable, right? Because so often when we see justice on the field, we assume it's going to be a pass. When Derek's on the field, we assume it's going to be a run. But now this is a scenario where, especially because this happened in prime time, now when you see justice break out for a 50-yard touchdown run, that throws a wrench into anybody's plan if they're just assuming that we're only going to use justice in plays that involve him involve us passing the ball it's a shame that we haven't seen keaton mitchell much yet but at the same time from todd munkin's perspective like it's hard to take snaps away from justice hill when justice hill is playing so well now i still think there could be a scenario where we get Derek, justice and keaton involved but uh, clearly you know, Todd Munkin doesn't seem to be in a rush to get Keaton involved. I wish he was because we all know Keaton, he doesn't need a whole lot of carries. You give like Keaton three carries in a game, 
be liable to to bust out a 40 yard run at any moment but still uh running the ball we played as well as you could have hoped uh, derrick henry went off in this game for 140 yards which i'm not surprised because even though derrick henry and saquon barkley are cool with each other uh, derrick is clearly still trying to compete for that rushing title this year and pretty much for that offensive player of the year title right because i mean realistically neither one of them are going to win mvp lamar is going to be the one to win mvp but yeah our offense was clicking and we even took a lot of uh a lot of aggressive chances in this game which i was actually happy to see as much as i critique the coaching i was happy to see us take some really aggressive chances in this game by going for it on fourth down on on several occasions like even towards the end of the second quarter us going for it on fourth down on our own 16 that's a very ballsy play and it worked out i'm not sure why we keep doing tight end sneaks but I mean, it worked out for us, so I guess I can't really complain about that in this game. As, as far as our defense is concerned, I felt like our defense played a pretty good game. The score may make it look like it was closer than what it was because they got a, a very late touchdown, basically a garbage time touchdown. And they, you know, they, you know, the refs, they were calling a bunch of flags on us that I, I don't think were completely legitimate calls, but that's neither here nor there at the end of the day our defense has not given up a receiving touchdown in two games two ga two games in a row i'm very excited about that we created a lot of pressure in this game multiple people were able to get sacks whether it's owe kyle van noy tupo uh who was the other person that got a sack uh brandon stevens got a sack like uh matabike he he got a couple of close he almost got a couple of sacks but it ended up not working out because justin herbert kind of scrambled but still he was creating a lot of pressure so it seems like our defense may have finally figured it out because again like we've been saying all year our defense doesn't need to be what it was last year we just need this defense to be like average and combined with this offense we're pretty much unstoppable at that point you know uh, Malik Harrison shout out to Malik Harrison right like he had the game of his life like Roquan Smith didn't play because he's hurt his hamstring he's dealing with the hamstring issue and Malik Harrison was just as effective stopping the run as Roquan like he, you know like Malik really stepped up I was very excited to see that and also I, you know like I said in the preview video I'm not surprised that we were able to cover the receivers on the charges because the receivers on the charges compared to the other receivers we played this year the receivers on the charges are not that big of a threat and you know there was a couple moments they could have gotten some big plays off against us but thankfully they kind of shot themselves in the foot because you know quentin johnston he kept dropping the ball which i mean the charges have to be they have to be sick about that the fact that like when you think about the receivers in that draft like they drafted a guy who is arguably the worst receiver in that entire draft like you think about that first round it was jackson smith and jigba uh then it was quentin johnston then it was zay flowers then it was jordan addison then in the second round they had josh downs in the third round you had tank dell like there were so many good receivers in that draft and they drafted arguably the Chargers drafted arguably the worst one of them all and they drafted him just based on the fact that you know he was he fit the prototypical the prototypical look of uh that number one wide receiver even though he didn't truly have the skill set of one but but that's that's neither here nor there that's that's their problem to deal with that's not our problem uh, speaking of the charges though Khalil Mack he had something slick to say basically saying that Derrick Henry's not that hard to defend but I, I don't want to spend too much time on that because at the end of the day you and your team had a chance to stop him and you couldn't do it he put up 140 against you but this was still just a great game and you know Justice Justin Tucker he didn't he didn't do a whole lot in this game but he did make a 45 yard field goal as well as all the extra points so it's nice to see hopefully this could be a sign of him kind of getting back into a rhythm but it, but it, there's nothing negative i could really say about this game for the most part this oh well no i can't even say that because that's not that has nothing to do with us i was getting ready to bring up jk dobbins 
who he was scaring me at the beginning of the game because it, look, it looked like he was about to go off against us but unfortunately for him he got hurt and you know i don't know what it is whenever we're involved it seems like we're just bad luck to him like he just keeps getting himself hurt like i was i was laughing um talking to talking talking to kev in the comments because it seems like anytime the ravens are involved it's almost a guarantee jk dobbins is gonna get hurt but it is what it is you know hopefully i'm sure he'll be back for the rest of his season he'll be fine you know we all wish him the best but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below how do you feel about this win are you satisfied with this win is there anything that you think we could have done to make it even more dominant and where do you think we go from here do you think our defense has figured things out and are you guys ready for our game next week against the eagles